All right, Halos, welcome back. Uh, we just met <clears throat> the dame, and we're heading with her to the Vale, it looks like. So, uh, yeah, she snuck us into whatever place this is. I forgot the name. What was it called? Northreach, I think. Something like that. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and head inside. Seen you around the Vale of late. Oh, don't tell me you've grown tired of us. Uh, it's not that. All right, let's head in. Oh, never mind. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Maybe I could use one. Now. Darling. Welcome. To the veil. Okay. Uh, let's talk with her again, I guess. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Oh, I can't say I'm any good at it. <laughs> I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Moon and stars. <laughs> <clears throat> fully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. All right. Let's do it. <clears throat> so, where are we headed to next? Aid Isabel in finding Tetian. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan. And she looked upon the dame as a mother. As do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Sweet. All right. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. Indeed. Hello. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatienne. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatienne and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. <laughs> Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. 
claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. All right, nice. <clears throat> the man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Indeed. No way, it's true. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyways. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, let's head to the garrison then. Guessing this is a side quest, right? Yeah, it looks like. Uh, looks like garrison's down here. Investigate the garrison. Heard the bones fell favorably. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off. Hold your tongue. And where's the dame's brooch? One word from him and the bell's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame thanks you. <laughs> War is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. That's what we signed up for. Alright. Deliver your findings to Isabel. There she is. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. But that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers. And they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I sent you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Alright. Let's go we'll speak with Bertrand and more. Uh, how do I get out of here then? Where am I headed? Okay, up, upwards it looks like. Alright, let's head this way then. <clears throat> Seems like a nice little town, but I think we'll just, uh, we'll just continue on. That's pretty cool looking too. Nice. Yeah, I love the open areas. Oriflan, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? Indeed. Alright. Let's continue on. Got a little ways to go, but it's not too far. Attack you guys, but okay. Sick of toggle. There, boy. Get him, boy. Sick of toggle. Get him. This little place. I don't think we can go in, can we? Let's check it out real quick. No, doesn't seem like it. That's a okay. That room was there. Looks like another uh, another side quest over there as well, but I think we're good. 
for people of Maul are as intolerant as Isabel says. It's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Uh -huh. Bertrand. Are you Bertrand? The Dane sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stopped to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. Alright. Speak with the traveling trader. <laughs> From Minecraft? Just kidding. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. You don't What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. <laughs> Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes, uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb. Albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the dame. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean. Most helpful. <laughs> Alright. Okay, keep going this way it looks like. Hello. Priest. Royal Meadows. Oh, these ruins. It smells of death here, Togo. Uh oh. <clears throat> We can't ever get any closer to the village. Sick of talking. Why not? Sorry, break just for fun. Over here. Slain. Look at that wolf flying off in the background. <laughs> That's great. Alright. Uh, Shark Fang, Bloody Hive. That's fine. Crafting materials. Damn it all. Oh no. Bodies. Looks like they were ravaged by wolves. Sad. What a waste. Well, the wolves have been busy. But the blood is long dry. Where's the comb? So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? 
Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. But by the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Yeah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to Moor for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. That's messed up. I think he meant to ask us something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northridge with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Chatien is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. Interesting. Tell us about Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatien by. So sad. Alright, well, let's head back. I guess we can just travel there. That's even quicker. Ha ha. If it was a message that needed delivering, I could have seen to it, milady. Of course you could, had it not been personal. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her then? Sadly. <laughs> Is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. Weathered goom. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. That's nice of you. Alright, quest complete. The Dame. Decent amount of experience, 1500 gil. And we got a meteorite, nice. I see a rare. Ish. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The Veil. Counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. <sighs> but did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I hmm. will. And thank you again. Interesting. Alright. Gather at the abandoned chapel. Uh, seems to be up the hill. <clears throat> oh, okay. Guess we can just go through. This. There's like a little pathway. We're right, expecting nice. any new branded until the new moon. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? Let's go. Give me that sprint. Uh, 
but yeah, I am going to go ahead and wrap the video up here. Um, <clears throat> appreciate everyone watching, and I hope you guys will be able to continue watching in the next part. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this real quick, and we'll we'll get to this location in the next part. All right, peace.